What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing gameplay with one of the free cards in NBA 2K20 on my team. So this card right here, it's free for 6 rings, and it's, like, 6 rings is not difficult to get. Like, all I'm gonna say is, 6 rings is definitely, definitely not difficult to get in, um, in my team. It is not difficult to get at all. But, uh, yeah, so, this card right here. Russell Westbrook, the guy is a free Galaxy Opal. Stats-wise, he's pretty good. Like, he gets 17 Huff badges. Acrobat, relentless finisher, dimer, clamps, tireless uh, defender, consistent finisher, fancy footwork, fast break finisher, giant slayer. He's got quick first step. He's got volume shooter. He's also got 28 golds, including gold, um, gold interceptor. He has got gold showtime, gold needle threader, gold space creator, gold unpluckable, gold flexible. He does have gold steady, which a lot of people don't like, but that's great on next gen. And he's got half, so he's got gold range extender. He's also got a 90, or say an 86 three ball, a 92 mid range, and a great driving layup. He's got a fantastic driving dunk at 97. Ball handling is good. Again, anything above 86 is fine. Like block, eh, not great. Perimeter defense, 90. He's also got 98 speed, 98 speed ball, 98 acceleration. He's got 95 lateral, which is insane. And let's have a look at the tendencies. His on-ball steel tendencies, they're, they're not great. Not unusually bad, but not great either. But again, he's still got like half clamps and stuff, so should still be pretty decent. And when we're looking at other elite tier point guards, so like, let's compare him even to a Colin Sexton. Let's compare him, not easy moments. Like, Colin Sexton right now is well over the 100k. Westbrook's free. And, like, you're comparing him. He's got two extra half badges. Yes, you've got half range on Sexton, but Westbrook's taller. They can both curry. Like, better dunk on Westbrook. Yes, you got a better three-pointer on Sexton by nine. Better dunk, obviously, Westbrook. You've got way better... Westbrook, way better rebounder. Westbrook is a little bit faster, and Westbrook's better on defense. So, like, I can't say... Like, he's definitely better than a half badge. Like, if this guard was on the market, he'd be 100k. Like, no question about it. If he was on the market, he'd be 100k. So, we're going to try out his hot sense and release right now. And then just, like, see what this guy is all about. We can see what his just movement is like. And what Westbrook release is like on normal. Like, I can almost guarantee you his release is fine on next gen. Like, I can almost guarantee you that the release is fine on next gen. But, like, Westbrook, obviously the guy can curry. He's got hot spots and spots to matter. I mean, I don't mind this release. It's slow-ish. It's fine. It's not gonna be, like, you're not gonna be out here quick stopping on people. Or maybe you are. Um, I mean, it is a little bit slow, but it's not unusably slow. Like, it's not an unusably slow release. It's just, again, Westbrook release on fast is probably really good. Can't lie, but his release is on, timing is on normal. Again, that is a little bit slow. I'll be the first to admit that. It is a little bit slow. So, but the guy is athletic. The guy is a freaky athletic player, like 98 speed point guard. I'm pretty, I'm not even sure. Who else in the game is a 98 speed point guard? As well as that, the guy does have gold range. He's got uh, showtime. His dunking is absolutely elite. Uh, he's gonna be a really good center. Like, he's gonna be a, say not center, point guard. He's gonna be a point guard on the level of like a Steve Francis. And like, I don't think there's that much wrong with Steve Francis as a point guard. He's a similar level. Pretty sure, does he have the pro six behind the back? Yeah, he's got Pro 6 behind the back, which is awful next gen, but, but good current gen. But again, the card full bar, it's not a bad card at all. Like, there's no, there is no way, in my opinion, that unless you get look out and get range extender. Unless you look out and get range extender, you're not getting a better card than Westbrook. You're not getting something better than Westbrook. Or if you're like a 250k qualifier. If you're a 250k qualifier and you really want that half badge, be my guest. But for most people, I'm telling you, man, Westbrook is, Westbrook is going to be good. He's going to be good. So anyway, now it's going on three. And now let's get on to the game. Release is a little bit slow, but you just got to get used to it. But man, I'm telling you, he's going to be a nice dunker. He's going to be a nice dunker. And with that showtime, like if you can consistently trigger showtime, you're in good shape. You are in really, really good shape then. If you can consistently trigger showtime, honestly. So, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see what this card is going to be like. We're going to try him out in TTO because, again, this is not one of our showcase gameplays for today. We're going to be doing Jeremy Lin. J 
Jeremy Lin is going to be our showcase gameplay where we're going to be showing a full unlimited game of, with him. Fingers crossed on next gen. But Westbrook is good on both. Westbrook's going to be really good on both gens. He's going to be even better on next gen, by the way. And actually, half, is half showtime. I'm pretty sure it's half showtime. But um, is showtime worth steady? And that's where the, that's where the question is. I like posterize your next gen. But he gets blinders next gen, which is huge. But he does have... Oh, he only has gold showtime. I don't know why I thought it was half showtime. Oh, then. Definitely better next gen. Okay, so he's playing against Isaiah Thomas matchup. So, he's got the big height advantage here. And... Defensively, he should be fine. But Isaiah Thomas can be a threat. If this guy knows what he's doing, Isaiah Thomas is a threat. To the basket. Oh, that's defense. Cam Reddish. I wish, I wish the ball did not go out of bounds there. But all I can say is, that is defense there by that dude. Alright, let's drop back. Let's drop back. Shoot that. Big board, Westbrook. Oh, Curry him. Nope. That's actually a really good bailout. Come on. It's wide open. Green light. Big shot there by Westbrook. That release... Yeah, anyone complaining about his slow release, you know what? It is slow. I'll be the first to say that that is that release is by no means fast. I do not have shot feedback on for him, so that's a little bit annoying. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go. Let's get the ball in the Westbrook's hands. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's wide open. It's a long two accidentally, but it's green. His release is money. I mean, it's easy to time. It's just slow. The defense. Way back. Attack me or shoot it with Giannis. Come on. Showtime. Showtime. Let's go. Good job there by Westbrook. Okay. Oh, that's a nearly steal by there by Russell Westbrook. Okay, he's got like his... Oh, it's bad defense. It's awful shooting, though. Don't let him hit that. Don't let... How did Dino not get the block? All right, we're good. They're getting the Westbrook's hands. Get it into Russ's hands. Oh, behind the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did we get the blow by on half clamps? Isaiah... <laughs> he just got blocked by 5'9", Isaiah Thomas. All right. I got. I guess. <laughs> he goes and hits that. All right, who says this? Who says this isn't the worst 2K game ever made? Who says this isn't the worst 2K game ever made? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! Come on, come on! We got his ankles broke. Wide open three. Big white miss right there. And they go right down, and they miss. Thankfully, they missed the white. Corner. No, no. We're good. He's behind us. He's behind us. He's behind us. Let's get him caught. It's wide open. And that is. Oh, Ross! We crabbed him and all! What the hell's wrong with this delay? Okay. It's back to normal. For a couple of seconds, we were, it wasn't anything to do with the jump shot. We were getting like a second, half second delay between some of our button presses. Alright. His shooting is definitely not spectacular. Give me that. That's another clanked white. At least we burst it into the middle. Yes, the dunk. All right, he posed his people. He's not the shooter I was hoping he was going to be. Like, I was actually hoping Westbrook was going to be somewhat more competent in terms of shooting. We're there. Back off, back off. If you can score on me with Giannis, fair play to you. Especially if that's if your only tactic is holding or two and you're trying to score on me with Giannis. Come on. Come on. Again, I do not know how to play on this jam. We've scored eight points. We've been here like four minutes. Okay, I'll be the first to say it. He's not hes not what I was hoping for in terms of just shooting-wise. But I mean, his ability to dunk is cop getting blocked. <laughs> oh, why did you bring it back? That's green. Nope, it's white, but he knocks it down. This dude's so bad. <laughs> that, this is just annoying because this dude's so bad at the game. Give me that. Give me an F3. Let's go. Big white there by Westbrook. Again, I keep forgetting. Like, I can take that shot on this gen. 
Like, it's a ghost contestant next, but, like, there's a lot of shots that I can take that I'm not taking. Come well, on, we gotta be re rebound better than that. There's a lot of shots that I'm not taking on this gen, because I just keep thinking that they're, like, actual contests, but it's only because of the ghost contest mechanic on next gen. There we go. Good dunk there by Westbrook. Has Westbrook got the rest of the last take? No, unfortunately not. Shoot that, please. That's a heavy. And it's not even in the bar. Westbrook, they give him space. Decent release. That release. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry for anyone who questioned Westbrook's ability to shoot the ball. You're right. You were 100% right on this gen. This release is so slow. But it's cash. But it's cash. You leave Westbrook open. Um, it's easy to time. But my god, I, I wish his release was that fast. I think I didn't even realize how slow Westbrook's release was because when he was first came out, um, his release on normal felt fine. But now, it is most definitely, most definitely, it's too slow to really three hunt effectively. But I mean, the dude can dunk. And if that's what you need your point guard to do, then go ahead, be my guest. The guy's a beast. Right, let's just get a basket here. First. Go behind the back. Maybe we've got the spin dunk here. Nope, we got the spin layup. Good job there by Westbrook. I think he's good. I think there's definitely a quite large difference between him and a Jeremy Lin, but I mean, him and a Collins, the difference between Westbrook and a Collins Sexton? I don't know how big that gap is. I don't know how big the gap between Westbrook and Oscar Robertson is. I think there might be a bit of a gap, but I don't know how big the gap is between those two cards. I mean, as far as cards you can get for like under 75k, I mean, he's he's as good as a lot of them. Westbrook versus Kobe White is a weird one. I think I might give the edge to Kobe White. I think I might give the edge to Kobe White over Westbrook, honestly. Westbrook definitely over Jamal, but he's got a badge of Jamal. Um, but that's the kind of level he is. He's not one step below top point, top five point guards. He's in the he's one of those in the conversation for like the lower end of the top ten. I get it. Like he's got half clamps, but he's no Gary Payton. He is absolutely in not in a million years is this to Gary Payton. He's not Dwayne Wade. He's not Lonzo Ball. He's not. I put Bonga in there, but a lot of people don't. Some people put Bonga in that top tier. Some people don't. I put him in the top tier, but for me, he's not Bonga good. Because Bonga's just six foot eight. But there's a lot of good things about this card. Honestly, there are a lot of really good things about this card. So. All I'm going to say is, if you got him, you shouldn't regret it because he's a good card. If you didn't get him um, and you got, I hope you got a good Hoff badge, um, I would advise getting him rather than the Hoff badge, honestly. I think he's the best limited reward you've gotten so far. Because Jalen Brown, you need the badge. I'm up. Aaron Gordon, who I never liked. I think he is the best limited reward so far, is Russell Westbrook. Um, I think he's a more than capable player of being a starting point guard on 90% of people's teams. He's, again, in that lower end of the top 10 conversation where if you take out Bonga, every one of those cards is like 70, 75k plus. I reckon it's definitely a debate between him, Kobe White, him and Colin Sexton. Um, I think he's better than Steve Francis. I think he's definitely better than Steve Francis. I'm just going to say that right now. Um, and I think there are a lot of upsides to this card. That people are going to kind of ignore because of that slow release. His release isn't unusually slow. It is slow though. But he is a card that I don't think you're going to see many competitive players use. But he's a really good card. He kind of reminds me of... Remember at the end of last year from like July onwards? Where we got like Beasley and Big O in 250... Sorry for winning, going 12-0. and 0, And they were still really solid cards but no competitive player... Is really going to use them in their squads. That's the way I feel about Westbrook. A really solid card, but probably not going to be used competitively. So would I advise you to get him? Probably. I probably would. Like, if you are... I would probably advise you guys to get this guy if you are... Honestly, anybody except for 250k qualifier where that half badge can really make a difference. So anyway, yeah. That's pretty much it. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.